Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues A to Z in which we're going through every single nation alphabetically for the most part. Um, and this time we're now playing as, not the Chichen Itza, but the Costa Caffeinata. And uh, I guess, you know what, that would have made more sense if I was drinking a cup of coffee here, but I got a cup of ginger tea. But, Articles of Association. Our friends at Costa Caffeinata have served the thirsty citizens of Mexico for over illegible years, but it's a long trip to the top and nobody knows that like us. A taste you can't forget. Don't be fooled by our mascot. It's not all smiles of the coast of caffeinated compounds. Hard work and dedication to the company are a must for all for our employees. Articles Association. Established in 2000 something, your friends at Coast of Caffeinated have served the thirsty citizens of Mexico for over a couple years. Well, it's a long trip to the top, and no one knows that like us. Why, well, when our Kakika first founded this company, it was nothing more than a beginning trade route from Osaka to Jukakalto. A simple corner cafe, serving our special blend with a smile to our American guests. Oh, we get beans. We get beans. Those cities and a public power. Or a quiet transportation company with strong community ties. Ooh. We get two arms workshops, which is not bad. We don't really need that as much. I want this one, though. Because, well, we're going to get PP immediately with the Baron. And we will get more daily elite support, because screw everyone else. I want that political power for now. Uh, business forecast. You, too, can be part of something special. My family? Eh, yeah, maybe. The taste you cannot forget. Don't be fooled by our mascot, it's not all smiles here. Um, hard work and dedication to the company are a must uh, for all of our employees, but don't let that bring you down. With a free serving of Costa's delicious in-house blend every day, you'll never feel reluctant to work again. It feels strong as a death claw. Ooh, heavily drugged. Wow, that's a lot of stability. Have the endurance of a pantholepard. Pantholepard. And it's all completely free. Voluntarily drugged. We're gonna go that direction. Oh my god. Oof. But now, now I played as these guys before when they first came out. And I did do cutting a deal because I do want to be independent. I really want us to be independent. We can do business as usual, but eventually I want us to do our deal, which I didn't do last time. So we're gonna go with cutting a deal. With their leader, Dad, their counsel indecisive, and their heir apparent and inexperienced novice. That's Lani Hold. All of us has never been weaker, and that's where there's weakness to be found, there's profit to be made. Business forecast, you too can be part of something special. As Costa Cafenada prepares for another great year of financial growth and new market opportunities. Whether as a prized financial partner or one of our loyal employees, together we can build a fresher future. Costa Cafenada, 2275, a company statement. The fresh new taste of Mexico. Building a plan for the future together. The skull you can trust. A production line. You get off map. Ooh. The skull that you can trust. Ooh. So we have all these going. We even have. So we actually make Kofa Arabica, Arabica de la Costa. Just make coffee beans. Cool. So I'm not sure how this all works. Uh, Begin scavenger program. We can close out of that one. Um, earning our freedom. So we are a puppet of uh, the Atsulani here. So. I don't care about that stuff. Audio hollow tapes and close out of that one. Um, also, I did have on Oro Blues Tech Expansion on too, just for funsies. Uh, it might hurt us in the end. It might help us out, but I kind of actually really like it. So, should I use it? I don't know. Probably not, but whatever. Um, but like I said, I want more political power. But I do want to get this guy too. So we'll be cutting a deal, securing a trade route. We could be going public, but I went this time last time. And passive investment, private investments seem like pretty good. Trying to build a public investment system in a nuclear wasteland is a surefire way to go bankrupt. Far better to play it safe than to risk it all on some pre-war financial idealism. Or going public, an easy way to inject more funding into our business operations is to sell stocks in the company to the public. We may have some trouble finding suitable business partners around us. As our operations expand, we're sure to find someone gullible enough to buy in capitalism holes, which I think, honestly, let's go this way again. I didn't do this one last time, which honestly is pretty good for us. But I won't do this one again just because I want to see what it's like, because between now and the last time we played as Costa, um, there's been some uh, updates to all this. So I do want to, uh, which one gives us political power? Ooh, that's not bad. Fast royalty, even though we'll kill it off later. Let's go ahead and do that one. Um, but yeah, heavily drug populace. Beautiful. There it is. Yeah, we want this one. We'll research what a democracy is, but we're not going to do it anyways. And after that one, because I do want to see what the Coffee Kings is like, because we have this stuff on this side. Um, a new stream, which is not bad. We get decap, which is pretty good. 
uh, Raider Rose, which is nice, Muta Latte, perfect blend. Scientifically proven deliciousness, which gives a whole freaking research slot, which is awesome. Satisfaction guaranteed. New market opportunities and Mexican mon Mexican monopolies. Craft market versus major clients. Uh, freight infrastructure, hangers, roastery, roastery, blueprints, and supply network versus the second breadbasket of Mexico, which is not bad. In Mech Cafe techniques, not bad too. Soil reclamation projects, pretty good. Uh, all natural irrigation, bumper crops, secondary industries, customer service support. It's not bad, but we get a whole freaking research slot, which we want. But I did go with Mafioso Tactics last time, so we're going to go with Orlando Atslan this time. So, plantation security. Manpower has never been a strong suit. Often we've had to outsource the security of a copy plantation to the Aztec overlords, with Atslan on the decline, however. We uh, need to prepare to take control of our own military defenses. I'm gonna go with conventional warfare too. I don't care what anything else happens. I, I want. I want, I want. Um, let's see. Can we hire anybody else? Baron's guard. He's P. He's a fast shot. There you go. Nice. Very cool. But right now we're actually building up roads. Something a little different than what I normally choose for us. Um, after that, uh, any more political power we can grab? It's not bad, non core, no, not bad. I definitely want to get that guy. Over here, right hand man's not bad. That's actually kind of unique. El Capitan's okay. Um, a Brute's not bad either. Really not bad, too. Uh, Army offense, that's pretty decent, too. So we got all that stuff done. Let's come over here and do some of uh, this. Uh, night meetings. We do want independence, though. We lose political power, which is why we're going to get more political power. So we can do more political power stuff. I don't like this one because manpower is going to be an issue later on. We're going public, though. Offshore investments. <clears throat> when selected, we lose 135 dried cacao beans. Oh, we get off map Civi. We lose some of our newfound wealth to better bolster our economic growth. Fudge the numbers. As long as it's written down, it's real. Adds two temporary factories. These will be removed at the end of the financial half year. So does that mean two? Do we get four factories in total? Or do we get two in total? Paid expectations. Better let them easy, let them down easy on a bed of beans. Lose 75. Lowers our industrial expansion. Oh, oh! Meeting investor demand. As other nations begin investing in our company, our stock value will continue to rise. However, if we cannot meet investor expectations for growth, both of our economies will suffer for it. Need a total of nine cities. When failed, oh, that's not good. So, how many beans do we have now? We got. A decent amount. Anniversary of the American occupation. If you're this one, please go ahead. Our people will continue to fight, of course. So we got a lot of peepee. -pee, and we like the peepee. -pee. We're a well equipped army. That might help us build a little faster. And what else? So, with this. Let's go with that one. And. If we do this one first, I'm thinking that if it requires lowers our required tariffs and whatnot, or an industrial expansion, I should say, um, does that is that a permanent change? I don't know. That'd be nice if it was. We're gonna need a lot of political power. Hideous quartermaster. Oh boy. Rationalism is good. Construction speed. That's decent too. I don't mind getting that one immediately. Just a generic construction speed. We're doing infrastructure stuff already. Get more political power. We'll talk about democracy. We're not actually going to do democracy. Oh, wait. Do we even have a. So you get this many every month. We don't even have caps. We just have beans. Huh. Okay, from above. If you don't need this, please go ahead. There we go. Don't promote the node. More money, more beans, more money, more greatness. So now we need eight, which is nice. Excellente. So you tell me we need to, we'll, we'll keep doing this, but we're gonna stack up as many beans as possible. So we can't do this, dried cacao beans, but we, does it not also affect these ones? 410. 
I guess there's two different things for beans there, but hiring the best, staying in house. Oh my god, that's really good. But 20% more organization. Screw it. There's no shortage of gunslingers that travel the way since Mexico, but few among them are reliable or comp competent. Large merchant companies provide a solution to both these problems, providing skill and loyalty as long as you provide the beans. It's very true. How do we get 35 army XP? I don't think I've been training anybody. But we have Coffee Kings. You bet we are. Root of the growth. While most people saw the Tula Locker on sure how uniquely dry cacao beans become the currency of much of the world, many others suspect the Baron is responsible. Whatever the truth is, he regularly invests resources and funds to expand the economy and enrich himself. Heavily drug populace, of course. Uh, independence, definitely want that. And then successful financial year. He's good. We don't need too many divisions really to start. We have ghouls, we've got normal infantry. Um, and there are the ghouls, 12 combo with, but they're, they're pretty good over radioactive wastes. So, overall, not bad, but someone was going to continue to work on here. We had expectations. I want to do offshore investments more. We want to build, 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 build. We want to become an industrial juggernaut. That would be for the best. As we'll hire the best. Um, request an Atslan military mission. As well as we are to admit it, the Atslan are the best one there is when it comes to waging war. It may require us to swallow our pride, but we should request an Atslan military mission to train our new forces. And we're going to rely on them, too. Despite our reservations, the Atslan mission has made a marked success. By adopting the battle strategies, we can improve our military strategies even more, and then drug soldiers. Satisfaction guaranteed. to get more, much more population, which is pretty nice. Ooh, we get to dynamite right there, too. Well, that's not bad. The Geros of Honduras are hardened by years of jungle warfare on their southern border. Even better, they have no love for the Itza. These two traits are more than make up for any asking price for the services. Not bad. More political power, yeah. Because who doesn't love PP? If you don't love PP, you're wrong. So right now we have how many civvies? Oh, we gotta see wait for that one. Um, in the meantime... We lose construction speed, we lose caps. Do I want that one immediately next? More output. Well, let's make at least six divisions first. Because this one requires request an Atslan mission, which we're doing right now, which is great. Conventional warfare bonuses would be very nice too. Expanding our operations. I get uh, NCR, that'd be good. And where are we at? Naval yeah, looking pretty good. Um, I'm going to do the federal power. Nope. Well, go and do this one, that's fine. And over here, well, we have gotta get these guys anyways, we're building up this stuff anyways too, so. D build. So after that, we're gonna do all of these, and then secure the trade routes. Uh, trade with the outlying nations have fallen off in recent years, due to recent instabilities. Therefore, securing our inroads to our neighbors is the best, is, is the first step in a large economic expansion. And coffee kings. We lose some resource efficiency gain and resources to markets, but we get better coffee production, more factory output, good stuff. The foundation of the coast of Cafenata is a coffee. Ground, premix, thermal, sealed, as long as it's coffee, we sell it. We're the kings of coffee not only in Mexico, but across America and possibly what's left of the whole entire world. Let's secure, let's secure some trade routes, too. New strain. 100 days, oh my god. C complacency is a death knell of any organization, sure. We sell coffee, but why stop at just coffee? With the right blend of nuclear irradiated ingredients and proper mixing. A whole new world of flavors can be opened to us to sell to this unsuspecting public. We can do major clients, but we're going to do... Increase the small orders by 300, worth 7.8. Um, the craft market. Often when a commodity becomes popular, a niche forms for tr of trade of the highest quality product. By cornering the sector of the market, we can build a smaller but dedicated consumer base in our local region. Major clients. Business booms and busts, but when it's booming, having a contract with the biggest boomer around will go a long way towards financing our golden toilets. Um, well, we want to be independent. We want to cut a deal. We have art of the deal. Bad business. We don't want bad business. Um, craft market advertised to our guys, major clients. Oh, uh, we'll see. Oh, I guess I'll do this one too, anyways. Oh. I definitely want to do new strain and decaf as fast as we can. Games withdrawal symptoms for your day. Sometimes you just need a little less coffee. Don't tell me how to live my life. Alright, we're just going to keep blazing through this. Remembrance of the war, get rid of that, please, your head. More stability, nice. And what is next? Oh, yes, please. Mass communications and 
Daily autonomy progress gain. So if you want to do this one too, please go ahead. Um, I'll be honest, this is probably a little busted for this type of nation because daily autonomy progress gain, is, that's quite a bit. It's probably too much. It's not how the devs intend, originally intended, but I forgot about that. But I'm kind of okay with that. Okay, we'll do that one too. Attack on core territory and defense on core territory. Oh, Raider Rose Blend. What causes a man to lose his humanity? To become a wild animal, hating his own kind. Ready to kill out the slightest provocation. We sure as like don't know, but by sticking the radiated peppers into the coffee, we can get a pretty close uh, stimulant. Nice. Muta Latte, we can read that one later. Aslan, Merchant Marine. This stuff can all be kind of ignored for now. Business with the cartels, huh? Central customers, is not bad. I like these guys, though. That's, I like the di dynamite. Oh, weekly manpower. Trade with Honduras. Honduras is a wild place. Last line of defense against a horde of horrors and jungle that extends without end. Perhaps we can give them a discount for their services to civilization. And they're good for Guerreros, because we get 25 weekly manpower. Not everyone wants to die in the jungle. In fact, most people don't. The role of a ghost of Cafe, not a security personnel officer in comparison, is a retirement plan for Guerrero, and we can use this manpower if luck's to our advantage. Approach Aslan over the purchase and development uh, over uh, of a roastery in La Liberación. Though we have most, market, uh, most of the market corner of the empire of the Aslani, there's some amount of competition left. The Bosch royalty is investing heavily into the commodity crops to support them as an independent state. Wouldn't it be a shame if someone dropped a match or 900 in their plantations? Sure, with so the position with Tzotzil is precarious to say the least, but far be it from us. Do let the threat of an upcoming bloody war get in the way of good business. Yeah, pretty much. And of course, we could do a new strain on all these. Mutual latte. Mutation. Is it really that bad? Sir. It seems to cut your life expectancy by half and your fertility rate by double that, but on the other side, it seems to make for a mindless, muscle bound workforce to exploit. And that's what we love to do exploiting people. Don't quote me on that one. Think, oh, we need. So send coffee shipments. But what do we do with all this coffee then? We have this coffee, but what do we do with it then? If we, if we have it. I don't understand. Are we making more divisions? Let's wait and not make any more divisions then. Um, but now, can we just grab you? Hey, at least that's pretty good. Mm. So we need to trade pretty fast. Conscription drives, huh? Trying to meet their needs. So, I'm not sure I we need to trade with a lot of people, but I guess we'll have to wait and see, maybe? Let's try to trade with it itself first, just because I don't know how things are going to work with them. If we fail, we fail, but International Coffee Appreciation Day! One of, one of the few company-wide public holidays in Costa Plantations, International Coffee Appreciation Day, Appreciation Day is a day of mandatory festivity among the plantation workers. We get to enjoy the fruits of their labor and even half a day's work. All the generous large guests of the Baron himself. This holiday has begun to slowly spread amongst Costa's international clientele um, through judicious amounts of off discounts offered on select products during the day's trading. That's cool. So... We need ten. We don't have ten. We have seven. So does this even matter at all, this coffee stuff? In all seriousness, does it even really matter? Because it does nothing for us. So... I have no clue. And so which means I want to save as much money as we possibly can. Let's promote the node to make even more money, maybe? Because we're going to need it. Let's see what that does first. Excellent. Can we do any more yet? Cannot. Got a couple days left. Sending coffee salesmen over, which is good. These people exploded, which is whatever. And so I like soft attack. That's really good too. More caps income. Well, that's something we're probably going to honestly need.
More research speed is always decent too to get. Anything happen here? Oh, missed opportunity. Unfortunately, the sales team sent to Nuevo Atlan has failed to secure the account. Though the people remain thirsty for now, it's be the smart to reach out again soon. As we know, the Wamingo cannot resist thirst forever. For now, though, we have a performance review of these sales teams uh, lead, Tiago. Need more help on the plantations, anyways. Well, forge numbers. So there's no point in doing this one. We need to do the other one instead, so we missed it. Well, that sucks. We need nine. So there's no point doing this. Well, I mean, there's not, not necessarily no point, but the other one gives you a permanent city, so. Might as well the one that just gives you a permanent city overall. And here we are at everybody. We're currently doing freight infrastructure. Yay! Uh, creating inf infrastructure to get coffee where it needs to go. On to the barge, until the customer is paramount to expanding a reach. A little investment in the far regions will be a great boom. The hangar, which wouldn't be bad, but overall, uh, we'll do the perfect blend next. Uh, drug cycles and caffeine fiends are all well and good, but when it comes down to it, what you really want in this heck of a world that are unwilling to born into it, um, uh, and forced to live into it, it's a darn fine cup of coffee. So, right now, we can become free as well, so let's go and save real quick. I don't know how we got this tile. La Costa Caffeinata, we got this. La Liberación del Cielo. So, I guess... We'll take it in court? We have negative one here, it's not good, but... I guess we got that. Oh, we got that from something else. One of our tr uh, things here. It wasn't this one. We actually have a decent amount of manpower now. Um, where did we get that one from? The craft market? Oh, we get advertised local smell, which is pretty good. Seriously, where did I get that from? Satisfaction guaranteed. It hurts our stability by quite a bit, but get better recruitable population factor, which isn't going to be a huge issue. So to this one. Do our interest in coastal trading. We have a few nations in Mexico that maintain any sizable naval presence, however. Currently, most of our vessels are shipping barges. If we're to exploit naval dominance of the West Coast, we need to transform our merchant navy. Uh, oh. If you're going to read about Hawaii, please go ahead. Um, into proper fleet. I don't mind more stability, actually, overall. Turn them away. Uh, let's get more stability, just because we're going to lose a lot, quite a bit. And also, we become free, so let's save first. I'm not sure what's going to happen. Um, save. And maybe we'll go to war with the Aslan? Maybe because we can, but that would put us in a pretty tough position between us and Itzen. We'll go to war with these guys eventually, but there we go. We're not free. No, oh, negotiating table. Oh, the Treaty of Ozaka has been once again come up for renegotiation. In the past, we've managed to greatly strengthen our position relative to our Atsan overlords. And so that this time, we can strike the final blow for complete independence, preferably without having to fight a war over it. Art of the deal, I guess. As always, Baron Garcia has proven to be a brilliant negotiator, running circles around the outmatched Atlan delegation. Coast is free in every sense of the word, and a single drop of bloodshed. Let's have a freshly brewed toast to such a British accomplishment. Show this one next, though. With a new product lineup and a ready market of addicted and over caffeinated workers, we're ready to begin business. If anyone has a customer complaint, they'll just have to, they just not have drunk enough coffee yet. So, we still can't do this. And investor demands keep going up when we can't even make meet them. So, 15 is still not bad, but we don't have enough money so yeah heavily drug populace with medicated populace because right now we're running out of things to or running out of places to build I guess we build roads right there too but we're still trying to go through our land auction of course um, we're doing okay overall the economy here I don't see anything for like oh here we go advertise look increase small orders by 300 worth as much money so when removed increase small orders because I've, I've read on the Reddit that this doesn't work. Maybe it does now. I'm not sure. I'm a little scared to do it because we don't have very much money at all. And I'd rather spend the money knowing that we're guaranteed something than anything else. So that's why I don't really want to use it. So, yeah. Can we go to War with Honduras? Maybe. Do we have any relationship with them at all? I mean, trying to fight through here is going to be, would be a, honestly, probably a complete waste of time. When Chichen Itza goes to War with Nuevo Atzalan. We might be able to go to war with them too. We will need to make more divisions. Then again, we are completely independent. So if these guys fight each other and these guys actually do well, we can probably take some territory from here too. Uh, we're not even making any divisions really. We've got some ghoul divisions, but they're not great. We'll go with that for now. And we'll train two at a time. Get some local workspaces, which is good. Get some construction going, even though construction doesn't matter too much. Um, we just once, why not? Screw it, we'll do it because we can. How much money are we not making now? Okay, so I guess we got this, which is really nice if we did get this tile at the very least. 
And then after that one, we can finally do Drug Soldiers for more population, less damage to garrisons, unlocks new commander abilities. So that's pretty good overall. More political power is not bad. Uh oh. Um, we may not have, not have the fervor, the weaponry, or the sheer bloodlust of our rivals, but one thing they don't have ludicrous amounts of drugs. With enough of our signature blend coursing through their veins, their men won't even feel the bullets dripping through their bodies. Not bad. Yeah, we just need more divisions. If we could actually take on the Chichen Itza and actually get up here, we get another um, more money. Because there's a trade note up there, which is actually very, very good. So I don't want to lose that. I don't want to lose either one of these two. So both of those are really not worth it at all. Um, so we'll do that. Part of the deal, of course. Cartel enforcers. Not enough to be able to shoot a plasma pistol. We need men who can inspire fear into the hearts of our enemies. The cartels of the north are refined cruelty into an art form, and that's just what we're looking for in the new employees. Merchant Marine, of course. Shift advanced skiffs. Coffee barges are slow and hard to defend from would-be orders. Uh, to ensure the safety of our cargo, fast light skiffs are sent out to screen the river and coastal passages and engage enemy before they can reach our main fleet. Barges and berths. Our barges currently make up the bulk of our seaworthy vessels, while cumbersome. With enough refitting, they could be repurposed and becoming a strong naval backbone for our fleet. Economic embargo. Oh, there you go. Look at this. Even the army of Itza marches on its stomachs. By using our economic monopoly to pressure its economy, we can land the first strike in any upcoming conflict. New market opportunities. Costa Cafenata, the greatest drink on earth, packing with all natural goodness and a taste you can't forget, coming to a ramen trader near you. Mexican Monopoly. While the great powers of Mexico team and squabble murder each other over foolish ideals such as honor and freedom. Oh, look at that. Everyone's killing themselves now. Nice. We can spend our time more profitably by selling them all coffee while they do it. The second breadbasket of Mexico. While the hot fires of nuclear annihilation may have turned off the rest of the world into an unlivable hellscape for us, it's became a highly fertile hellscape. The irradiated soil of Costa Cafe now grow just about anything that's planted, as long as it serves eyes to the background radiation. In Mecafe Techniques, often when sorting through documents from before the war, we find memos from the Instituto Mexicano del Café. In Mecafe, uh, distributed many materials to assist coffee farmers in the past, and despite the slightly glowy soil, some of the guidance could help. Uh, Baron Garcia has, even has an idea on where the headquarters may lie. Civilian factory use, minus two. Nice. We can release some millies, though. Definitely. Here's this one. What level are we currently here? Oh, nice. So actually after that one, I don't mind doing uh, the hangers. They have the sacks of coffee hanging from the ceiling in order to control moisture. The hangers warehouse district in Oaxaca uh, could do with some renovation. Uh, increasing our storage capacity for our processors can help us better absorb production fluctuations. Well, I'll click on that by accident. This one, uh, where is it? We need one more milli. If you do this, you get 100. Oh, okay, that's not bad. So uh, that's not bad at all, actually, at all. Whatsoever. So you do at least one for now. Get that one done, we'll be fine. Roastery blueprints. So our roasteries, or roasting, needs to have become inadequate as we've grown. One of our engineers, Yesenia, has assembled a team to create a new roastery to fit our needs. Ooh. Hey, that's not bad. Cartel enforcers. Yeah, we read that one. Um... A man cannot live off coffee alone, at least not yet anyway. While we're working on that technical issue, rotating our coffee fields with high-yield grain crops can help offset our cost overheads. Secondary industries. There's a lot more to growing coffee than just watering a can and some dirt. Performing production, packaging, supply, and administration are self-sufficiency. As an organization, it's sure our continued growth as a company. Beautiful. Radio, good. We've got some decryption too. Happy August. Oh, what's this? Oh, distribute. Okay, so that's why we make it distribute ration, coffee rations. Way more speed, more consumption, more instruction speed. So with this one, you get. Hmm, really this costs 100% in 10 days. 50% more attrition, plus 10% more supply consumption, minus 50 years of fancy coffee, exhausted, but you get offense and breakthrough. Interesting. I got rid of the coffee. All we have is fancy coffee. That's interesting. It's unique. Um, let's go with. Uh, this one makes me. Advertise? Sure. 
So, Reclamation Project, as ridiculous as it sounds, there is such a thing as too much radiation. By reclaiming some of the more unlivable sections of our interior, we gain product up production levels by 150% by the third quarter. All natural ingredients. It's about all good sound and logic. Uh, the people of the Wasteland still keep trying to get 200 year old boxes of preserved pre war foodstuffs. Putting aside the radiation poisoning, these production products are chopped to the brim with preservatives. Costa offers an all natural goodness alternative to the people of Mexico, whether they like it or not, and uh, customer service support. Ooh. Here at Costa, the customer's oil comes in first. Whether that's on the battlefield, the testing lab, or plantation fields, Costa is committed to helping your customers help them, which is great. So, but I think we'll probably end the episode there, and we'll do a lot of soft screen and get ready for any incoming wars. So, if you enjoyed the video, though, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. As we continue to expand our borders, or well, we'll start expanding our borders, and see if we can continue to expanding our coffee markets. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.